In this video, I'm going to actually show you how to build a chat bot in, land, in landbot.io and we're going to actually embed it on our website just like this. So stay tuned for this video. Hey everybody, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. Today I'm going to do a setup of a chat bot in landbot.io. I talk about landbot a lot in our podcast. Great tool, very easy to do. And you know, if you just go to their website, landbot.io, they actually give you an experience with their with their landbot. It's about conversational experiences, as they say. So you can put text. You can put animated GIFs, you can put button choices. I'm going to actually show you today how you can actually allow freeform text and do some conditional logic. So really easy to set these up and embed them on your website, not just in this full screen landing page type mode, but you can also um, put them as like a little chat widget, which is what I'm going to do on the website today. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into my LandBot account and say create a LandBot. And one of the things I like about them the most is just the ease of their visual uh, designer. It's just a, it's just a well-designed uh, visual editor. I really enjoy working with it. So let's say this is a start message. I'm going to say hello. I'm going to have some fun with this, and I'll show you how easy it is to set this up. Let's put a little emoji in there. Hello there. Would would you like to hear a joke? Now you know you might think that is funny, but Honestly, I find that when you mix the business purposes of a chatbot, where you talk about your product or your service, but you give the option for the user to engage and have some fun, you actually get a lot better interaction with the chatbot. I find a lot of people going into my, my, my joke, joke bot. So we're going to build just a little simple joke here to show you some of the power. So I, I, you see, I, I changed my button here. I'll say apply. I'm just going to put one button here. This is just kicks off the chat bot. This is always your start message. And uh, let's go ahead and add in another message and say, great. Uh, let's do a little silly joke. I've got one already prepared. What do you call a bee in the United States? I'll leave the punchline here for a second. Now, one of the things you could do to make your message kind of look a little bit better and clearer is you can put some conditional formatting in here to kind of make things bold. If you go to their help documentation, they give you the syntax. It's not quite, I don't think it's markdown uh, syntax, but it, it is similar. And at any time as you do your, your bot, if you want to go in and see that, let's hit the preview button. They have a really nice uh, way for you to see what you've got so far uh, accomplished here. So let's just take a look at let this load and I'll show you how that formatting. Would you like to hear joke? I'll probably go back and put some bold there too. Sure. And you'll see that the B is bold and the United States is bold. So let's close that preview. Now, you'll notice I can send messages, lots of different message types. Let me go ahead and close that out. I can ask questions. This is what I was pointing to, lots of different question types. I won't go into all of these, uh, but I'm going to use this one called text. And that's where a person can actually type in some text. So I want them to answer my joke uh, in this case. All right, so I'll say type in your answer. I'll just leave the default uh, in this particular case. Now, you'll notice that this little guy is kind of free flow. He's not connected to anything. I'm dragging him around. There's no linkage there. Let's just connect the dot. Just connect that dot to this. And now that's the flow of my chat bot. Extremely easy to set up. I'm actually going to go back in here and put a little bold on my would you like to hear joke as well. So easy to go back and correct stuff. All right, so now this is where they're going to type an answer. And what we want to do is con some conditional logic. Now I'm on the pro account. So these are some features that are in their pro, but you'll notice that you've got things like goodbye messages, human takeover, conditional logic, jump to other bots, web hooks. I mean, it's a lot of power in this workflow uh, creator. I'm going to do this conditional logic, which is a pro feature. Um, so this won't be in anything but the pro and above account. You'll notice I've, I've got uh, the ability to set up conditions and rules. Now, the answer to my joke is USB. And you'll see that when I go through and finish this up. But you'll see that I can say, I can pick the either the last user answer. or I, I'm going to pick at text. And just so you know why I'm doing that, 
if I click you'll see that the answer will be in the at text field and I could change that but it works so I'm gonna say that the the at text contains and this is what I learned is it is case sensitive so you do want to put in um, a couple of ors to capture what people put in some people put lowercase in some people put uppercase in and I've even seen people that put in the first letter uppercase and then the rest lowercase and because I'm doing contains it'll actually look for that anywhere I you know people sometimes type USB -E -E, it'll capture all that and give them the right conditional logic in this case so that's how you set those rules up you can kind of see you could do ands and ors I can do all sorts of equals not equals is set lots of different things you could do to set up some what we call boolean logic in this case so let's apply that now I gotta connect that there we go now you'll see I've got a true and a false condition so did they get the answer right or did they get the answer wrong if they got the answer wrong let's do that one first I'm gonna send them a message and tell them what the answer is Now in the message thing I could put images so what I'm gonna do is actually bring in an image and I'm gonna use an animated gif and I'm gonna show them an actual picture of a USB so I've got a little animated gif here I'll load up and I could do a couple different things we'll let that image come in there it looks like it's moving a little slow let me select it again just in case it didn't load in there there it goes so you see I got you'll see it bigger when I do the preview and I'll just say a USB and put the uh, star there there it is so now if they did not get the answer right that's the false condition I'm gonna bring them into that now let's say they did get the answer correct I'm gonna send a different message and that's one I'm gonna do another animated gif I've got of being excited that they got the answer correct and I'll say whoa you got that one and I'll just again I don't know well we'll see and I'm gonna put that to the true condition so you'll see I've got two paths now and then just to wrap this up I could continue to send them down those two paths but take a look at this I'll do a power up and I'll just end this with a goodbye message I like their goodbye block I can bring both of those back into the same block and just close up this workflow and in the good block I can just say I'll just do another little goodbye message you know thanks for spending time with me and uh, I'll put a little bold. I like to put a little bit of bold, a little bit of formatting in every message. And you'll notice at the end of what's the power of the goodbye block, I can allow people to share my bot, some great you know, sharing opportunities. I can start them again. I can re redirect them to a URL. I'm going to do the share icons on this goodbye block. All right, so let's recap. Let's take a look what we got. So they're going to start. I'm going to give them a little message, type in the answers. There's so much more I can do. I can tweak the speed at which you type I can type in more messages make this more conversational I'm just doing this really quick just for demonstration purposes but let's do a quick preview of how this is going to flow now we'll 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 run it twice so you can see the differences all right want to hear jokes see the bold sure now this time I'm going to type the answer wrong I'll just type don't know and you'll see that it's going to take me through and actually show me the B Thanks for spending time, and it gives me the opportunity to share that. Let's restart it. And in this case, I'll say the right answer, and I'll do it in one of those formats that we typed. I'll do the capital U, lowercase sb. And you'll see it's going to take me down the path of, whoa, you got that one. And again, end with that goodbye block. It, it's literally just that easy to do these things. Now, let's save this. Let's call this tech smart boss joke bot go ahead and save and publish that and I could go through I'm not gonna spend the time to go through design and, and settings and all that I'm gonna just jump right to share I'm gonna show you how easy it is to kind of pop these on your website of course you could share the actual you know landing page format the actual URL to it but I'm gonna actually embed it as a live little chat widget and you see different types of embedding objects here I'll do a little bit of a proactive message there. Hello, would you like to hear a joke? And again, I would come back in there and, and, and make it a little bit better and of course change my company name there. 
let's go ahead and just copy this text. And I like to do things in Google Tag Manager, so I'm just going to go, you know, right to Google Tag Manager and add a new tag and put this in. I'll call it Joke Bot. I'll do this real fast. I won't, you know, I've got another video on YouTube about how to set up Google Tag Manager if you want to see that. I'll paste that in. I'll put it on all pages for now. I normally would probably exclude some pages, isolate a little bit, put it on the specific pages I want. But let's go ahead and publish this out to our website. And I'll, once that finishes, publish. Oh, I got an error. Ah, uh, uh, you know, I've got a little bit of special code that I use for these things. Let's go back and find that joke bot. I'm not even sure, did it save? Yes, it did save. So out of the box, it is a little, you see this little arrow right there that equal greater than? Uh, Google Tag Manager doesn't like that. So I actually rewrote that code for my other bots. And preparing for this video, I actually have it all in my little paste bin code. So let me copy the right code in. This code actually is a little bit fancier, it does some other cool stuff that I won't talk about. But if you do want to know, just email me at david at techsmartboss.com. I'll be happy to share it with you. But let's go ahead and publish this code and fix that little bit of uh, what Google Tag Manager doesn't like. All right, so it's live. Let's refresh. Now, I might have to clear my cache, but let's see if this will. All right, look at that. There it is. Hello there. Would you like to hear a joke? And a user could get that proactive prompt. They can want to engage with the bot. You know, of course, I would go in and change names and, and icons and stuff like that. And there's the exact same thing we saw before. Now I can interact with that in a live chat widget on my website or users can. What do you call a B in the U.S.? Let's do something a little bit different. USB. And I'll get the whoa message at that point. Whoa. All right. So. There you go. This is a use case. This is uh, one of the reasons, one of the ways that I use Landbot, not just to tell jokes, even though that's fun to do, but to do this for business purposes where you can do whatever your imagination, um, you know, brings you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like these, let me know in the comments. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go out to Facebook. Check us out there and check out our website. We're doing a whole lot of stuff all around the Internet. Love to have you be part of our community. Talk to you on the next video.